What's up guys, it's Friday. I'm on call this weekend, which is fine. I don't mind it. Uh, but today we're in San Francisco. We're in the Missions Mission District. Uh, we're doing maintenance on all these package units. You guys can see, uh, we're gonna be washing coils. We're gonna clean the inside. Uh, temperature split, check the economizers if they have them. Uh, and that's basically it. Also, we're gonna check uh, one of the units. I guess it's ice up. So I stuff. So I'm gonna check that out. Uh, I have a helper today. His name is Julio. That's uh, Rolando's little brother. He's straight out of school, so he's learning some stuff. Let me just show you guys where we're at. We were parked over there. I had him go and get the van and park over here in the front. All of those are 30 minute limit uh, parking. So there it is. Park right there. Check all the mirrors out. Boom. There he is, pain. That way we don't have to worry about parking and pain and pain over and over. We just paid that amount, let it sit and be good. But yeah, uh, that unit, we clean all these units. They're pretty bad in shape. So, on the ones that are pretty bad in shape, we're just gonna use water, most likely. And uh, see, see how it goes. Also guys, during our lunch time, we're gonna go ahead and go down there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the paint is on the wall. Uh, basically, all this area is the Mission District. Uh, if you guys don't know about it, it's all like the Hispanic area. Uh, they have pretty cool paintings on the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and show you guys some during the lunchtime, of course, and uh, see see what else we find. So just take all three panels off. We're gonna go ahead and wipe out everything inside. Use nitrogen to blow everything out. Yep, that one. And then the one on top here too, for the blower, yep. All right, yeah, so do it lightly. I mean, you can do it faster than that one. This, like this. Yeah. We will usually use a vacuum, but my vacuum broke, so. We're using nitrogen, blow out the electrical, clean as much as possible. We're gonna go ahead and clean the blower assembly, furnace area, and then all this area right here. Also, check the economizers. So we got that one to do, this one, that one, and that one. Not that one, because I guess that one's already out, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and show him how to do uh, just one, and then he's gonna do the rest by himself while I work on that system right there. Yep, all in that motor area on top of it. You can grab a towel too mm -hmm. and just wipe it all down. Because remember, a lot of the customers come up here and see the visual inspection of it. So, and after we do everything, all the cleaning, we'll go ahead and uh, take amperage on the motor, check the bell, replace it, clean the sensor, and do the rest of the technical area. But as you guys can tell, power is off. Yep. Nice, clean that motor, yep. Make it look good. So just in case you guys were wondering what we're doing all this little cleaning it things, it's because this particular customer, that's what he wants. He wants pictures before and after of everything. So everything, every little thing we're doing has a reason behind it. All right, guys, so now we're going to be doing this area, this section over here. And what I did, took out the white out of the thermostat wire, took it out. So only the blower is running. So now he's going to be able to use that and this to be able to take all that dirt from the inside out. And the reason why I have the blower running is because that way he's able to blow everything out. Um, 
and not worry about things going down to the store. Also, we're leaving the old uh, filters. That way, the, the old filters are able to catch every dirt that goes inside because the blower is running, of course. It's a good way to protect the coil from the dirt. All that dirt out, yep, nice. Make it look nice. Also, all in the bottom area. So right now what he's doing is cleaning the economizer, taking all the little dirt out of the connections and basically making it look nice and super clean. So now I just go ahead and clean the back side of the there and then we'll be done on that side. That's why it's super important that you keep the filters there guys, the old ones, that way they catch everything. All right, now shut the unit off. Now we're gonna replace that belt. And that's, use that one. one. Yeah, it can be any of those. So grab that belt and then take this one off. Get the new belt, go like this. Go inside of the old belt, grab it, and just push out. That way you're able to save this belt for an emergency. Okay. You always wanna have about a half an inch of play on it. So, see this? That's perfect right there. Even though they're pretty good in shape, still replace them and then put the name and date on them. Always. Because you don't want a customer to come in and say, oh, you didn't change them. You know what I mean? Remember, the metal mesh always goes towards the evaporator. All right, so now we're just gonna get a quick check on the motors. Yep, put your amp meter in there. What does it read? 3.2. 3.2, okay. 0.2. And this motor is rated for 4.5 amps, so we're good on that. Now check the inducer. Since we're doing heating, just check your inducer. What does it say? 0.3. 0 0.3. This one is rated for 0 0.5, so we're good. Yep, 0 0.4, we're good. Okay, so basically doing that, bro, you know your, you know, the amperage are good and we get those motors. We'll also check the condenser amps and the rest later. So yeah, I just put the, all the panels back in. We're gonna go ahead and wash the coils and uh, we should be good. Also, we're gonna go, go ahead and check pressures too, so. All right guys, so this is what we have with this unit. Vapor icing up, blower not running. Blower kicks on. So we got a bad contactor. So let me go ahead and get one. Uh, 24, that's 120. All right guys, here's the old contactor. Put the new one in. See what it does. Compressor's on. Condenser's on, blower is on. Basically, I was getting 24 volts to the contactor, get it wasn't pushed in. So, I mean, it's pretty common sense. So, replaced it, you're gonna up and running. So, we're gonna go ahead and do the maintenance on this one uh, probably at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and just have it jumped, let it run, see what, it, see what else it does. Pretty simple. As you guys can tell, they took the filters off because I bet you it was super iced up. So they took the filters off. So we're gonna put new filters in, new belt, check pressures, take amperage of everything. Julio out there doing his thing.
It's rated for that's a uh, 4.0. So we're looking good, fellas. All right, yeah, just put it through the middle. Power's off, good. Go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, yep, like that, and then push it out. Yep, like that, yep, good shit, yep. Yep, nice. Because a lot of people, what they like to do, they look, they like to cut them, and they'll come off easy. But I don't like to do that because I like to have them as a spare, you know? There's already a spare here, too. Yep. Everything looking clean. All right guys, so now that I'm done here with this unit, I'm gonna go ahead and start helping them out. Changing the filters, taking belts off, cleaning everything out, amperage, and all the good stuff. So I just wanna clarify this. If you guys didn't see us do something, it's because we don't wanna show everything we do. Uh, like I said, because we don't want restaurant owners to try and do the things we do, so. Damn. So for this one, get the coil cleaner. And we're gonna go ahead and use coil cleaner on this one. It's pretty bad right there. All the way. Now I'll go ahead and do it on the back side too. That way you can at least get everything from this side pushed out. That way you don't get it from the other side. Big difference, big difference. guys that's the place taqueria guadalajara what the hell all right guys we got the food we're about to take lunch and then go upstairs clean up the rest and go home after that every little corner here is Look at that, even McDonald's. Damn. Damn. All right, Julio, so what you learned today? Today, I finally learned how to switch out a belt and then how to deep clean the units. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the little vlog. Uh, nothing too big, just a quick maintenance and a service call, so. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.